Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on number systems. In this video, we will consider yet another numerical on the conversion from binary fractions to decimal. The example is 11110.1101, which is expressed in binary. The task is to convert this number into its equivalent decimal number. I recommend you to watch this video till end so that you, can, you will learn the trick on how to convert such conversions. And you can solve any numerical on such given concept. Yes, let me write the given number again. So it is 1, 1, 1, 1. So four ones are there and there is a 0. So let me write that. Point, there is 1, 1, 0, 1. So now what I do is, whatever that is there on the integer part, so I'll multiply every digit this digit i'll multiply this with the 2 to the power 0 so in this process in this while continue i'll multiply the next digit with 2 to the power 1 so i'll continue the process i'll multiply this digit with 2 to the power 2 and this digit with 2 to the power 3 and towards then this digit with 2 to the power 4 correct so whatever i'll i'll get the equivalent i have to add them up 0 into 2 to the power 0 0 into any number is going to be 0 again, so I need not have to consider this number, even though I consider I am going to get uh, 0 itself. So let me write that. So this number is a 0 plus 1 into 2 to the power 1. 2 to the power 1 is nothing but 2, so I will get 2. Plus 2 to the power 2, it is 4, so I will consider 4. So next is a 2 to the power 3, that is 8 into 1, I will get 8 only. Plus 2 to the power 4. That is going to be 16 into 1. The number is 16. It turns out to be 16. Correct? Now, after the fractional point. So, what I am going to get. So, I will multiply this number, whatever I have the first number. I will multiply this with the 2 to the power minus 1. Are you getting it? So, to the left, I will multiply the numbers with uh, positive multiples of 2 to the power 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, here I will consider uh, negative multiples of uh, negative powers of uh, 2. So first it is 2 to the power minus 1. So this I will consider with the 2 to the power uh, minus 2. This with the 2 to the power uh, minus 3. And this with the 2 to the power uh, minus 4. So right there equivalent. So 2 to the power minus 1 is nothing but 1 by 2. So what is 1 by 2? So it is 0.5. Anyone can uh, say that very easily. It is going to be uh, 0.5. So let me write 0.5. Correct? Again, I need to add this with uh, the next number. 2 to the power uh, minus 2. What is 2 to the power uh, minus 2? So, it is nothing but 1 divided by 2 to the power uh, 4. Uh, one, 1 divided by 4. So, what is 1 divided by 4? So, let me consider the calculator and uh, do that with the help of calculator. 1 divided by 4 turns out to be 0.25. So, let me write 0.25. Correct? Plus... 2 to the power minus 3, I need not have to consider this because this number is getting multiplied with 0. 0 into anything is turns out to be 0 again. Correct? Similarly, moving on further, 1 into 2 to the power minus 4. What is 2 to the power minus 4? It can be written as 1 divided by 2 to the power 4. 2 to the power 4 is nothing but 16. It's as good as 1 divided by 16. So what is 1 divided by 16? So let me make use of the calculator again. Uh, let me consider 1 divided by 16. That turns out to be 0 0.0625. So let me consider over here 0 0.0625. So what is this uh, number going to be? Just I have to add them up. 16 plus 8, 24. 24 plus 4, 28. 28 plus 2, 30. So integer part is going to be 30. Point this fractional part. So I need to add up all those uh, final numbers. So how do I add? Let me consider the cal calculator. Uh, first number is 0.5 plus 0.25. That is the second number. Plus 0 0.0625. 0 0.0625. So if I do that, I am going to get 0.8125. Is that correct? So let me consider. Point is already there. So let me write 8125. So the number is 30.8125 in 
decimals. So this is how we converted the given fractional binary fraction into its equivalent decimal number. So this is the conversion process we make use. I hope you people have understood. If there are any doubt, please let me know them under the comment section. I would definitely address those uh, doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on number systems. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.